America back with a new lesson for you so are you all set for the winters have you bought your winter wear your gloves and your warm jackets well if you are all set maybe you should also start looking at some winter vocabulary so this is the lesson for you we are gonna learn some winter vocabulary that would help you to talk about winter season because the temperature is falling down and it's getting really cold. So let's have a look. The first word that we have over here is a cold snap. What is a cold snap? You know at times uh, when the weather is really nice and pleasant, but suddenly for a few days or for a short period, the weather really gets very cold. It is so chilly outside. So that's what that short period is called as a cold snap. So it is a short period of cold weather when it's really cold and it's just a sudden outbreak of the cold weather. The other one that I have for you is to hibernate. To hibernate is basically used for animals who get really inactive during the winter season. But yes, we do use this word when we like to say that, oh, I love to hibernate during the winters. So basically, you love to sleep through the winter season or you love to be inactive throughout the season because it's so cold outside that you really don't want to step out if you have to use in a sentence you can say uh, i don't see my neighbors during winters i guess they love to hibernate so this means that they love to sleep through the winter season so to hibernate is to be inactive and that's during the winter season. Another one is wind chill. This is when it's really cold. Your body feels that cold, chilly weather. And you know, the reason is when the wind is blowing really hard and that's why you feel that it's much, much colder. So it's not that the temperature is really low but it's the cold wind that's making you feel so cold so that kind of a weather is called a wind chill so it's the wind so when the wind blows okay you feel really cold Okay, now let's have a look at another word here that is slush. Slush, well, I'm not talking about the drink slush. Slush is the melted snow. Okay, now when we do have this beautiful snowfall, everything looks so nice and pretty. But then after a few days, when the temperature increases, the snow starts melting and it gets really dirty and mushy. So that melting snow is called as slush. And honestly, I really don't like that. I don't like the slush. The reason because, of course, the melted snow really looks dirty. It turns a little brown and it looks very mushy. So I really don't prefer the slush. The next one is snowbound. So when there's heavy snow, okay, outside your house, on the roadway, it's impossible for you to travel. So which means that you are snowbound, okay? So because of heavy snow, you really cannot step out of the house. 
So, for example, um, all flights were cancelled because of snowbound. So, which means that there was heavy snow on the road or on the runway, and that's why the flights were cancelled. So, snowbound is when you cannot travel because of heavy snow. Okay, and then the last word that I have for you here is sleet. Sleet may be a new word for you, and what it means? Well, sleet is a mixture of rain and snow. Or uh, probably, uh, it also means that when it starts raining, because of the cold temperature, it turns into ice. So either it's a mix of snow and rains, or when it rains, it turns into ice. That is sleet, okay? So if you step out of the house and you feel the rains, and it's not really raindrops, but you feel the ice, then you would say, hey, it's not snow or it's not rain, it's sleet. So it's a mix of mix of rain and snow. So these are some words that would help you to talk about winter. And now let's look at some phrases that would help you to tell people that it's really cold outside. All right, so here are some expressions for you that you can use when it's very cold. It's freezing outside. So this indicates that the temperature has really gone down and it's very, very cold. So if you meet someone, hey, how are you doing this morning? It's freezing today. So which means it's extremely cold. Then another one is, uh, well, I guess it's below zero. So this means that the temperature is below zero. Now, please note, you would never say that the temperature is under zero. You would always use the word that it's below zero. So zero indicates that it has gone into minus, okay? So if you have to give an exact temperature, someone would ask you, so what's the temperature like? You can either say it's below zero, and if you know the exact temperature, you can say that it's minus two degrees. So this means that you're giving the exact temperature, but you're using the word minus because it's below zero. The third one here is it's Arctic outside. So what comes to your mind when you think about the Arctic region? Yes, it's the coldest region. So when I say that it's Arctic outside, it means that it's extremely cold, like you just can't take it anymore. Okay, it's colder than normal. Okay, so this is the right expression you can use when it's extremely cold. And the next one is, you can see your breath in the air. Or you can say, hey, it's so cold today. I can see my breath in the air. So it sounds pretty poetic, but what exactly it means that during cold days, you, when you talk or when you breathe, you would realize that your, breathe, that your breath forms a cloud. So, which indicates that it's extremely cold outside. So if you want to sound really poetic, you can use this expression that I can see my breath in the air. The next one that I have for you is, my car is iced up. So you step out of your house and you get into your car and you notice ice on your windscreen, okay? And the windscreen of your car, it's all iced up. So you can say, oh, my car is all iced up. So it means that you spot ice on your windscreen. The reason because it's very cold outside, okay? And the last one is, it's pretty frosty today. So the word frosty means that it's very cold today. So it's just another word. Rather than just saying it's very cold this morning, 
you can say it's pretty frosty this morning. And during winters, usually the mornings are very frosty. It's a very common thing, okay? Because the temperatures are low, it's very cold. So the mornings are pretty frosty. So these are certain phrases that would help you to talk about winter. So I hope you're all set for the winter. Please do wrap up yourself with warm clothes and I'll be back with a new season for you. Till then, you take care and have a good day.